Before we get into the video, man, I want to give a quick shout out, quick word from our sponsor, BETonline.ag. They sponsored his last video. They're back again. They're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports teams. March Madness is going on right now. There's a lot of upsets. Is your bracket busted 10 or is it still perfect? It's still perfect. Okay. I don't make mistakes. I, I, I'm the only perfect bracket left. Nah, me and you are the only perfect bra- brackets left. In yeah, the yeah. World. But, yeah. you know, most people can't can't be like us. So make sure y'all go and place y'all's bets. You know, you might want to put a couple upsets here and there. It's the year of the upset. So go do that. But nah, if y'all are putting y'all's bets, make sure to use BET Online. Head to the website, betonline.ag, or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's betonline.ag. Now let's get into it. What's up, guys? We're back with another video on Chum Chat. We got a very special guest, the boy, Brendan Aronson, doing big things over in Austria. You see it, we see it all over the media. How you doing, Brendan? Good, good. How are you guys? Doing well. Doing well. John, how you doing? You look like you got a haircut. It's good to hear. I got a haircut. I got a haircut. I'm back to the curly ways. I mean, I see Brendan, little little curls popping out. I don't know. We can we can be curly brothers, but yeah, it's finally getting back to my old ways, so it feels good. Yes, sir. It's been <laughs> like what, four or five years since you got a haircut? All right, chill, chill, chill. It's been like, <laughs> it's been like a couple months. It's been a couple months. And I, I needed to fade, that's all, but no, nah, it looked like a couple of years. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not talking with that with that haircut, but anyway. Hey, look at I'm looking first, bro. What you talking about? You're all right. All right, never mind, never mind. Let's not get into that. Anyway, Bren, uh, last time we spoke, you were still at Philly. This time, Salzburg. What's what? Are, what are the biggest differences in between the two? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there are quite a bit, quite a few. Yeah, I would say. The biggest thing between the teams and the leagues is the physicality here. I think that that's what a lot of people say is the physicality in Europe and especially in Austria. There's a lot of bigger guys here. It's 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 faster, you know, like the, everybody's a little bit cleaner on the ball and it's stronger, you know. And I think that's the biggest thing for me is kind of adapting to the physicality here. At, at Philly, were you – I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch like many MLS games in general, but I thought you were like a, you were like a 10, no, naturally? Yeah. But here you're playing a little bit more on the wing, right? Yeah. Is that so, weird or is it? No, it's it's actually not weird. I'm I feel a lot, I feel really comfortable with coming off the wing sometimes, like coming into the midfield off the wing, kind of like playing like an inverted ten. We say here, so like it's all it's all off of like an inverted winger, like you're saying. But what we call it here is a ten, like like back home. It's a ten, but it's more of like a winger, like if you'd say back home. But I really enjoy playing it because I like coming in off the wing and I think that you can get separation from like the, the wing back and, and being in the center mid, you're constantly getting followed around by like a six or like another center mid. So I think I have a little bit more freedom kind of coming off the wing and it's really nice. I like to hear that. Cause even like, like when I feel like you have space and time, like when you played against uh, I don't know how to pronounce Brandon and Taylor boost team, like seam pole or something, yeah. but uh, you just make it look easy. Like when that goal you scored, I was like, that was, you just made it look so easy. It was like, what are these guys they're not even defending you just cut inside bang goal and i feel like when you have that like when you have that confidence like nobody can defend you bro like you feel the same or no yeah well thanks first of all i mean that means a lot but i think that yeah i mean when you have confidence and i'm confident with my teammates you know and i think that i think the biggest difference is is i'm not saying philly was different in that way but i think my teammates are finding me in really good spots now you know and i mean listen we're 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 playing really good this year. We're beating teams by a good amount and we're, we're playing really good this year. And I think that gives me a lot of chances too. where at Philly, we, we weren't always the best team going into games and it was harder to create more chances. But now I feel like as a team, we're creating more chances and I'm being more part of them. And, and I think I'm getting more and more confident in the final third and making that last decision. And the one thing that was on my mind, that goal is I'm just going to cut in and shoot. And that's something I've been working on. Right. That's two, that's two goals now. And which you you do a little a little stutter, you cut in, find the far corner. Okay, so you become becoming yes. a little bit of a trademark, Brendan Aronson goal. But um, now we actually recently spoke to TB Taylor Booth, who you played this yeah. weekend, scored a nice banger as well, and yeah. Brandon and I peeped the picture where you and Brandon are going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> I just want to know who won that. I don't know who won that ball. 
tried, I tried getting a foul out of it, to be fair. I just wanted to slow the game down, and I fell. He bodied me. I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> wait, no. Was there wow. – Wow. Bro, was there any – um? Was there any pressure that came with getting the number 11, or were you were just like, ah, it's calm? Honestly, I mean, you get – when I saw 11, there was a few higher numbers, but you have one career, you know, and you should go for the number, the, the number that people will see and you can kind of get a name for yourself out of it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take 11. Was, I haven't thought about it differently, you know? It looks good on you. I'm not going to lie. It looks good on you. I like to hear What was your number, uh, Philly? Like 20-something, right? 22. Okay. That's a good number. You're I like a little there. 22. I like 22 a lot too, though, but their 22 was taken, but 11 was – for sure the number one for me so talk about talk about your first goal obviously crazy first goal like let's just say that but uh no explain what was going through your head like when after you scored like it's a big moment no yeah no for sure I mean it's always great to get into a club and then I mean I've been getting time off off the start of it which has been great you know and I think that I want to thank like my teammates and my coaches like Jesse's been fantastic from me being here from the start and yeah, we're both American, but he treats everybody the same. You know, he doesn't want to be like that. And he's been great with me. The assistant coaches have been and the players on the team have just shown a lot of confidence in me. And I think that's really helped. And on that first goal, what kind of just went through my mind was like, I mean, I have no other options. So might as well try to just do something with it, you know? So I just took the guy 1v1 and just cut inside again and then just looked far post. And I just kind of floated it, you know, just to see what would happen. Banger. What we'll a banger. See we, we'll see if we can edit it in there so people can see if they haven't seen it yet. But what I noticed, if I remember correctly, it was like you kind of did like a little bit of a hezzy, like you stuttered. It was kind of like you were trying to like you could tell that you were thinking about what to do with it. So you were stuttering and like faking, faking, and you found the little yeah. pocket and you found the back corner. So it was nice. But let's talk about what was Very not nice. nice. That knee slide though. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was oh, well. My knees were messed up for like the next like week, bro. I had just like brush burns all over my knees from that slide. But didn't you like somersault into it? I had a you say I, <laughs> I had a good recovery though because I did a somersault after that. You but saved still, it. You saved it, and your teammates were there to hug you too. So that was that was that was calm. That was calm. Yeah, yeah. We'll forgive you. We'll forgive you. But yeah, are you uh, are you settled in? Are you like in your apartment now or house or whatever? I'm in my apartment now. I'm all settled down finally. That's the worst part, and I think you know that for sure. Being in Portugal is settling down, getting everything figured out, the banking side of things, <laughs> like setting getting furniture I, I had my parents here so that was such a big help having them here having them basically they were doing all the work moving stuff in with the movers and like telling them what to do because i wasn't here we had europa league games we were traveling a lot like in austria too so it was a tough time for me to settle down and i'll do all that stuff but finally settled down i, I love my place i love the area that i'm in and i'm really happy they got you a whip or what yeah they they give us they give us cars here so it's we it's it's an Audi, but it's it's it has like the car, it has the Red Bull symbol going across it, so it's like it's a really nice car. I really really like it, but then it's just a huge Red Bull symbol going across it, you know. <laughs> so like you can't have any like privacy while driving around the city because everybody knows you're a Red Bull player if you're driving that. That's actually funny that you mentioned that because one yeah. of the things that I wanted to touch on today and I thought about it today was um, if you like if getting recognized has been more of like more common now honestly i know salzburg isn't the best sock isn't the like most hype soccer city you know and i think that that's something like just like kind of like home you know everybody's like that at home it's more of like a theater they love the music scene here and they still do know soccer here but it's not it is more than philadelphia but it's definitely like around the same i've got stopped a few times but really kind of like philadelphia you know that's calm which i, I like that really I like that a lot, you know, like I can just go walk around, have a good time, like not having like it's not like I don't mind doing autographs and st autographs and stuff like that. I just I like being to myself. I like having family around, just kind of doing my own thing and doing that kind of stuff. You know? I, feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Speaking of family and stuff, uh, you said they were there, but did, did, have they left yet or what's, what's the scoop? Yeah, so they left Thursdays ago, I think. So they were here for 10 days. And listen, they can't be here this long because they have my brother who's starting preseason now with the Philadelphia Union. They have my sister, and then we got a puppy. So they, she's a, she's a, that's that's tough. But they had to be home for them. But listen, it was just awesome having them out here, and they helped so much. So it was awesome. Do you miss them a bunch, or uh, 
I mean, you have a good relationship with them, obviously. Do you, do you miss uh, do you miss home? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I miss my, I mean, I miss my girlfriend a ton. I miss my family a ton. That's definitely the hardest part, but thank God we have FaceTime nowadays. And I found this thing called Netflix party where me and my girl can oh, yeah. movies. And yeah. So it's, it's like really that. nice. Yeah. What's the, what's the plan with your girl? What's the plan? She, she coming, uh, she coming to Salzburg soon or what? We want to take a quick moment to recognize our sponsors. Uh, our newest sponsor, eBay, uh, whether rare dead stock or the latest release, Find the exact shoe you're looking for on on eBay. I, I know I know I, I shop on eBay. I got some drip coming in. Uh, super stoked for those Jordans I just ordered. But uh, hey, and for all the sneakerheads out there, this is where y'all gotta get y'all shoes. eBay. So go shop eBay. Uh, eBay.com/sneakers today. That's eBay.com/sneakers. The world's best destination for discovering great value and unique selection. Cool. Now back to the video. You should. She's probably gonna come out. Probably May, I think May first or second. So hopefully she can come out then. It's just having to get done her exams and stuff like that. So I mean, hopefully right on, that. right on. Yeah, actually, you're actually making this kind of easy for us because that's another topic we wanted to touch on. Your girl, and um, no, nah, I mean it's, it's funny because you know I I was scrolling on TikTok one day, and um, and I was on the for you page. And I was just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I, I saw this TikTok and I honestly didn't really pay much attention to it. And I was about to scroll and I happened to look at the guy and I was like, oh, wait a second. And I looked and then I was like, the angle of your face was kind of weird. So I wasn't sure if it was you. So I went in the comments and one person confirmed it. And I was like, ah, okay, okay. So I, I knew I had to bring it up. It was that one TikTok where you're, where you're uh, with your girl and uh, yeah. y'all do the thing where it's like, um, you, you say like a like a vegetable or something and you have to say it at the same time. That was a funny video. I, I, that was a funny video. Listen, I'm not a big TikTok guy. I don't like making TikToks like that kind of thing. But <laughs> that, she's posted that make me laugh and I, I, I like doing it. So that's fun. It was, that it, was, that was, that was it went viral. It went it went super viral. So I was like everyone's yeah, gushing yeah. over y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually kinda we kinda wanted to recreate it here on Chum Chat. So we're gonna pick maybe four subjects and then we're going to go three, two, one, and then we're going to see if we can say the same thing. And if we go three for four, then sorry, you might have to, you know, start dating the chumps. Uh, <laughs> so we'll pick a, uh, we'll pick a few. Like you want to do vegetable? vegetable. Vegetable's good. All right. Well, we'll there's probably a- going to be a little bit of a lag, but just try to do your best to count down and say it. All right. Vegetable. We'll do, uh, we'll go with fruit. Then we'll go with, uh, Country, we'll go country, since you know we're all separated, and then we'll go, we'll go uh, MLS team, but you can't say Philly or FC Dallas. All right, all right, all right. You count all right, down. So we'll, all right, we'll start with vegetable. All right, all right. You got one yeah. in your head, right? Yeah. Three, two, one. Carrot. Broccoli. Yo, that, yo, Brandon, you said carrot. I said broccoli. I said broccoli. Oh, broccoli. you messed it up, Tan. Y'all t- I, I was thinking broccoli, but I thought you were gonna big brain and say carrot. All right, so All we right. got we got we got one. That's one link. So that's good. That's right. good. Okay, now we're going fruit. Fruit. Everybody right. got a fruit. All right. All right. I got a fruit. Three, two, one. Apple. Strawberry. Bro, what? Tanner, you're lacking, bro. You're lacking, bro. You're Yo, lacking, bro. You're lacking. Yo, bro. y'all are just like okay. If y'all get this next one, country. If y'all, all right, you can't say the country you live in. So we can't say U.S. We can't say Portugal. And we can't say Austria. So you got to think of a country. All right. Uh, Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Let's just knock out Mexico because I don't want anyone to say anything, okay? So knock uh, out Mexico too. No Mexico. Yeah, I'm in Mexico right now. No Mexico. All right. All right. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. England. England. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yo, that's a fire one. Okay. <laughs> doing here this is crazy. i mean we set up a bunch of countries okay last one okay last teams we can't be saying philly and we can't be saying fc dallas all right okay. all right three two one I galaxy like seattle Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right you have it here folks brendan and johan are a new couple i'm sorry uh brendan you're hey i need to play with brendan bro we are you already know yeah, we got the links are, the Wow. Wow. That is real. That is actually crazy. Yeah, crazy, dude. Four? 
Damn. We might have to. We might have to post this on TikTok. We might <laughs> have to just start a TikTok and post it. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is four crazy. out of four for Johan and Brendan. That is nuts. That is nuts. <laughs> that, is that is nuts. That is insane. All right. <laughs> that was that was a good idea, Dan. That was a good idea. Um. That's crazy. Nah, but for real. Shut up for work. I don't say anymore. Wow, well, you're lagging out a bit, Tan. You're lagging out. What'd you say? Nah, I'm just at a loss for words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, Brendan. Yeah. You're sponsored by Nike, right? Yeah. So we were talking to TB, and I don't know if you follow TB on uh on Instagram. You know, he's kind of like, you know, he likes his drip, he likes his fashion, he likes all that stuff. Yeah. We talked a little bit about that. Are you you seem like a simple guy, but you know, you have you have a couple pieces in your closet that you know you, you don't mind flexing. Like what what is that? What is that looking like? I'm dude, clothing for me is just I don't I'm not I don't have any type of drip, bro. I'm just not like that, you know. I, I just wear I just wear my shirt, my sweatpants, I show up to train every single day and I go home, you know. There's no need to look drippy. But for me, the one shoes that I have are Nike Sakai's that are my favorite. Like they're like my baby. I love those. Um, I mean, I, you can wear them with really anything, and I just I love the way they look. I'm probably gonna. I want to try to get another pair of them because I like them so much. But yeah, with clothing, bro, I I just don't have anything that's like crazy. Like I would wear out. Like you know what I mean. But yeah, I mean, clothing's not for me like that. <laughs> what colorway? Which, do you uh, have? Yeah, what colorway? They're like red, blue, and white. Okay. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I got you. John, you don't know? I was thinking of like the red, the yellow, that those, you know? Like the Yeah, they're they're ones. similar. Yeah, they're similar, but they just red and, and blue. Yeah, red and blue. And then they have like a little white on the bottom. Those are okay. fire. I have the I have the all white ones. Uh yeah. definitely trying to up my my Sakai my Sakai uh, my levels on there. Cause I'm trying to get uh the blazers, the Sakai blazers. I'm I'm yeah. trying to get in the blazer. I'm, I'm trying out a pair, but We'll see what happens. Off the pitch, you might be a, a casual, like casual, but on the pitch, you kind of got your look now that you're playing more, a little bit more in the cold. Well, Philly's pretty cold, but I peeped. Yeah. You got you got the headband, looks clean. You got you've been wearing the long sleeve with the gloves. Is yeah. that like a new? Is that a new character? You know, Henri with the gloves was dangerous. Um, <laughs> you know, long sleeve Henri was dangerous. Is that your look? The long sleeve with the gloves, or what? Honestly, I'm just dumb cold out there sometimes, bro. <laughs> it's brick, bro. It's so cold here. But, I mean, the gloves, I do – I've always liked wearing gloves my entire life. But for me, I, I like the look of just the, the short sleeve with the Under Armour always. I've been a huge fan of that, and I think that looks always pretty cool. And the hairband, too. I've been wearing that my entire life. So, What's the, uh, what's the weirdest thing about Austria? Weirdest thing? Bro, they have a dialect here compared to German – like they speak like deutsch but it's a dialect and it's like when some guys are talking like the austrians are talking at my club oh my god you can't understand anything that they're saying <laughs> nothing and now i'm starting to like understand german more and more since i take classes and i've been around it like for like two months now two and a half months but when they talk i don't understand anything it's crazy that's crazy i couldn't yeah. imagine having to learn a whole new language and then having other people talk some weird yeah no it's like some weirdness slang you know but it's just like it's a it's dialect and it's crazy how hard it is to understand what they're saying i'm sure bro like i'm sure it's even harder than german like i remember when i was in germany man i yeah. felt so lost when people were speaking german around me i was just like my only hope when people when someone would approach me and speak in german i would just ask them if they speak english in german it's like the only phrase i knew and thank god most <laughs> of them spoke english so yeah, it was yeah. all right it was calm do your teammates all speak english most of them yeah, yeah which is great you know but like of course they're going to talk like if there's six of them at a table and all five of them except for me they're all going to talk german you know like it's just how it is but and then when they talk that i just have no clue what they're talking about and i'll be trying to follow along you know but when they talk that i just have no idea so i just eat my food i just say to myself maybe ask some questions about what they're talking about but that's it bro i feel your pain sometimes you just have to just kind of like eat your food just be quiet it just yeah, yeah i don't even know what to do sometimes yeah that's what I do. But, um, yeah, I mean, you were here last time we asked you about it, but, you know, our signature question, just kind of re-answer yeah. it in your own. Maybe it's changed. I don't know if it's changed or not, but, you know, we'll see. how do you define success and do you think you've achieved it now? I think you maybe you've achieved in most people's eyes a little bit more success now, but, you know, it's all your opinion. And, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, when I think of success, I think of like, I mean, a football player like wins tons and tons of trophies of the, over their career, you know, success isn't defined in when you're 20 years old, you know, and like you're doing well at the time, but success is when you're done your career and you had a successful career by winning trophies, playing in a top league in Europe and winning trophies there and then being a big time player. That's what I think of being a successful player and having success. It's a good answer. We expect to see it. You know, it's, it's nothing crazy. I mean, you, you're going to get there. You're going to reach your potential, and that's what's going to happen. You're going to be a successful player, no doubt. And uh, it's only going to get better since you've been on Chum Chat. You know, things happen. Like you saw, <laughs> he came on Chum Chat, went to Salisbury, scores goals, and now he's going to be on Chum Chat again. And, uh, you know, this year's got a lot of things coming, you know. You got a lot of games, a lot of opportunities, and my man steps up to the plate. So, How many trophies are you all up for this year? So two now since we just dropped out of Europa League to Villarreal. So we have two now. We have the cup final, which is like the FA Cup of England, but of Austria. And that is May 1st. And then we have the league goes until like May, I want to say. And we're in first place for that. I think we're like five points ahead now. So it's looking good for both. We're in the finals for the cup. So hopefully win two, you know. And That's we'll go like back trophies for four years in a row, I think. Oh, wow. Salzburg is typically a Champions League team. Obviously, you jumped right into Europa League. I don't. Does the Europa League have an anthem? Yeah, it, it does have an anthem. But I honestly, like, I don't know about you guys, but I was never, I never watched Europa League like that in the past. Like when I was younger, I was always just watch Champions League and then League. Yeah. Because then I thought of Europa League being that huge of a thing, you know. But now being a part of it and seeing the level there, it's it's crazy. And I mean, I've been watching it over the past couple of years now, but it's really good. Yeah. Now it's high level. Yeah. Thanks for that insightful comment, Tanner. But um, now, now going into Champions. I like your, hair. I like your haircut. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Now going into Champions next year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. And hopefully things are back to normal with fans and everything. Mm-hmm. You think what, what? What do you think you're gonna be feeling when you're on that line and you're hearing the anthem and they sing the Champions part? You think you're gonna get a little bit of goosebumps? You know, you're gonna get those tingles. I mean, yeah. I mean, first of all, we need to we need to get into Champions League, you know. And I, we, if we win the league here, we still have to play a qualification match to get in. We play one home and away, so I think that that's what we have we have to do that to get in. But I mean, yeah. I mean, that's every kid's dream. I, mean, I know it's your guys' dream to play in Champions League. Hearing that anthem just brings you goosebumps. And for me, it's just something that I hopefully I can be a part of, and I'd be yeah for sure get goosebumps. Bro. Yeah, that's a crazy anthem, man, bro. Yeah. Oof. Just thinking about it, bro. That shit's crazy. Let me ask a quick question, though. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Sam. So we're talking about the U.S. men's national team. I think you're going to be a part of it. Uh, what do you see this year for you? Obviously, we got World Cup qualifying. They got uh, they got uh, gold, gold Cup. They got uh, Nations League. Have you gotten any word from Greg or the staff about what you'll be a part of, if, if able to? Yeah, I mean, I haven't I – mean, Greg's congratulated me on a few of the performances that I've had so far. and I had good contact with the assistant coach and stuff like that. But for me, I think it's just keep doing what I'm doing on the club level, and then I think that the international level will come, you know. I think that for me it's doing the best I can for Red Bull Salzburg and then getting my chance with the national team, which is always an honor. And for sure I want to be a part of the national team in the future because I think that there's so much potential, and you guys see that too, of all the guys that are even playing in – the best European leagues in the world and guys that are playing week in, week out and MLS and all that kind of stuff, you know, and it, it's crazy to see all the young players nowadays, but for sure, I want to be a part of the national team. And that's a, been a dream of mine my entire life. For sure. Yeah. They got games coming up in what, uh, end of this month or next month? Yeah, I think it's end of this month. End of this month. Yeah. yeah. Big time games coming up, obviously friendlies. We're hoping to get some real matches soon, but, I think he'll be a part of it, but that's it for me. I, I was just going to ask if he, uh, if he had the scoop, but man, he's just focused on Salzburg like he should be. So, yes, sir. Uh, you want to do it? You going to do a little outro, Johan, or what? What are we thinking? Yeah, I'll bust him. I'll bust him with a little outro real quick. But before, before we, uh, outro. before we, <laughs> um, before we go, we always ask our guests. I don't know if we asked you last time. I don't remember. But who do you want to see on Jump Chat next? I'm just gonna throw out a name. I don't know if you guys have had any yet, but Josh Sargent. All right, that's Ooh. a good show. We actually haven't even talked okay. about that. Okay, I like that. Josh Sargent, we like that. Okay, 
Josh Harden, if you're listening, bro, you heard it from Brendan. We want you on show. Be a great episode. I think the, the fans would love it. So we'll contact you and we'll make it happen like we do. All right. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, Brendan. Um, I'm going to bless him with a quick outro, like I said. But thank you guys for watching once again. Fire episode with Brendan. Um, I think, you know, after this episode, there's a lot of things to take from it. A lot of life lessons to be learned. Obviously, we now know that me and Brendan have a thousand chemistry. And um, <laughs> we'll just make sure y'all go like, share, and subscribe. Go share this with y'all's friends. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Go find your success.